we are announcing today for the first time to the public that over the last five years in Europe, we have invested over 700 million euros for the development and implementation of over 1,000 new technologies in the field of robotics, pack automation, artificial intelligence, all technologies that uh, help our employees, our customers, and our planet. And all this development is rooted right here in this lab. So Stefano, let me ask you, I mean, you're giving us, giving us some numbers. I know there's a lot of impressive robotics that you have there. We're going to show some video to the audience. But what does that mean to consumers that just want to get their things faster? Our technologies help not only our employees by increasing the safety on the workplace, but they also help our customer by receiving products with fast and reliable delivery and also with the more sustainable ways of delivering products. For example, today we are also announcing for the first time to the public our latest technology called URL or Universal Robotic Labeler, which is a high speed auto labeling technology that uses computer vision and artificial intelligence to apply automatically different types of labels on different types of packages, even with the regular shape. The benefit for the customer is an increased selection of products that we can offer. And the benefit for the planet is, of course, that we reduce unnecessary packaging and we make custom made shipments. Stefano, Elon Musk recently made some waves when he predicted that we might see uh, human intelligence levels in AI as soon as next year. And you, I believe, already are testing out some humanoid robots at your warehouses called Digit with like glowing eyes, walks like a bird, but looks like a human. When do you think at Amazon or even elsewhere, we might see humanoid robots helping you with your efficiencies that also have the intelligence of a human? First of all, uh, artificial intelligence nowadays is a very popular topic in the media, but we don't need to forget that uh, we have been developing it for the last 25 years in Amazon, and we use it both in our operations and in our fulfillment networks, and also for our customers. Digit or humanoid robots are one of the several technologies that we are using to enhance the workplace of the future. And we continue doubling down on technology investment and innovation in order to make the workplace safer, more ergonomic, and more welcoming. The natural follow-on question to that has to be, what, at what cost for humans themselves? You know, in your, um, in your statement, you say that the introduction of new technologies over the last 10 years has actually enhanced 50,000 new jobs. But do you envisage a situation where actually your robotics and automation are going to take the jobs of the people who work for you? It is a myth that uh, technology robots take out jobs. The number you mentioned is already a demonstration of that because robots and technology help our employees. For example, by reducing walking distance between assignment, by taking away repetitive motion, or by helping them to lift uh, heavy weight. And in turn, our employees can learn new skills. They can learn new competencies, acquire new capabilities that allow them to progress towards their career objectives. You already mentioned the 50,000 jobs enhanced by technology. I want to give you another number. Over the last years, more than 700 new categories of jobs have been created by the use of technology. My own role, my own team didn't exist until seven years ago. And now we are here to develop, qualify, deploy, and support new technologies globally to help our employees.